All right, let's continue with Ambush at Ithilien. The Heredrum rang and the file crashed through the green woods of Ithilien. When a core set of dead for Mordor's black gate, their strength was too great for Faramir and his band of Mordorian rangers to attack openly. Such an act was suicide. With patience, we will find our opportunity. Faramir instructed. Heeding their captain's advice, the rangers slipped quietly into the bush and disappeared. The objective is to... We get one point for Haradrim and one point... Five points for a Muma kill and two points for a hero. They get one point for our Gondor soldier. Scouting report tells us to strike down the Muma kill from a distance. This giant beast will trample all those around them. Take control of the higher ground, use your archers and the enemies left below. Alright, let's go for it. Sadly, it's one hero only. Ugh, my controls are acting out again. My god. What's happening? <laughs> I can't... My controls are ignoring me now. I guess it's like a glitch or something, I don't know. I don't know, man, what the hell's going on? I have no idea. It should work now. If it doesn't work now, I have no idea. Rage quit. Okay, it works now. These computers, man, they're just weird. Okay, we have three flags. One is here, we have Gandalf, and it's a bunch of these archers. There's a bunch of enemies here. In the middle flank, there's a ton of our soldiers here. And the bulk of their army here. And on the right flank, we have the Oliphant, a very impressive elephant thing. Okay. I'm gonna go straight for the enemy hero. As always, it's the most important thing in this game, right? Take out the hero and then they don't have command points anymore. So that's what you want to do. Oh, decent. That's some decent damage output. Alright, here I get two moves. I think I'll just move the captain here, so I can get him to the other flank. That seems useful. While, I don't know, I'll just do some tactical maneuvers with the other units. Why not? Oh wait, I can maybe strike the Oliphant. Sure. Okay. Here I only get one move, it kind of sucks, but that's all right. Wow, that's a lot of damage. These guys with spears, they're a little bit of a threat, but should be okay. Yeah, their damage output is really decent. Wow, that's nice attack. Now the Oliphant. Oops. Oh, so their damage output is pretty impressive. I love it when they walk over their units. <laughs> it's funny. But anyway, um, they've left their hero exposed, which is really good for me. Although the hint says, you know, it gives you a, a tip to take out the Oliphant long range, I find it that in this one, really, it's 
a much smarter strategy not to go after him at all. Ah, oh, it really sucks he survived with so little HP. I can't do anything about it. Oh well. He will go here. It just seems a better strategy to focus on other units. Because they're just so much easier to take down. Alright. And here I have three turns, which is quite a lot. Gandalf has taken some damage, but shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think with the other units, I'm gonna focus on this guy, because he's the only unit that's a bit of a threat to Gandalf. I don't think he's in danger otherwise. Although if I can't hit him, I'll consider hitting other units. Maybe you. You're pretty weak. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, this is all I can do for now. seem to send all the point here. I wonder if it's a pre-scripted event or something. For some reason it always does that. Oh. Here they harass my captain. It's annoying. I hope he can survive for as long as possible. Ah, Gandalf is tanking some real damage. I'll have to be careful. That's for sure. At least I can finish him off. It's gonna make it a lot easier. And what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna pick this Herodrim off one by one. I think it's the best strategy. I'm gonna hide the captain here. And I'm gonna put this guy in front to be a distraction. That's my plan. And here, I'm just gonna attack. And my plan is not even to focus on the Oliphant, not even on Sharku. It'd be really cool if I could take him down, but he's hidden there in the corner, and I barely have any ranged units here. It seems like a lost cause to even try it. Hmm, I might have to move Gandalf back. But I think he's gonna be fine. I'll actually use Inspire, maybe. Kinda sucks, but I don't know what else to use, to be honest. And I'm gonna kick in Alimba's bread, just to be safe. Wait, okay. Cool. So, by taking this guy out, I pretty much secure my flank here. I don't think that the other archers can do much of the damage here, so... The rest of the guys, you can just maybe pick... I could try to focus, like, the Oliphant, but I won't. Just try to pick these guys off. All right, that's something, I guess. Oh, but I have some extra moves now. Just kind of cool. One extra here. That's the best. I think I can reasonably assume that the archer will go down with about three hits. So that should be pretty safe. 
I gotta say, this is one of those missions where the game took quite a lot of creative liberty. If you remember from the original story, it was only, and even in the description it says so, it's, it's only Faramir's rangers, there is no, like, Condor soldiers involved. So you would expect the level to be about archers only, but... Nonetheless, it's, I don't know, it's kind of a unique level. And I guess just the fact that you get to use Gondor captains, it's, it's kind of rare. Usually you're stuck with your own heroes, but it is better to have your own hero, though. Oh, really? So little damage, come on. Come on, man. Alright. I'm gonna have to pick this off slowly, but... I think it's not gonna be that much of a problem. I think that maybe a strategy would be to attempt... So little HP. Maybe I can snipe him or something. Save me a turn. He seems so far away though. Hmm, too far away. Maybe if I go here. No, it's too far away. Can't do it. Alright. And I'll just stack these guys here. <laughs> okay, they're not much good in close range. Mm, but I think Gandalf should be safe. Alright. That's about it at what it's about what I can do. I'll keep you here. Maybe I'll move the other captain to the middle, since this is where the fighting has gone. Okay. One oh one. Yeah, now they are at a serious disadvantage. Now that they've lost uh, the other hero, Gothman. Kill gives them pretty safe kills, sadly. Hmm. That seems kind of dangerous. Oh, I got disorder. That sucks. I'll kick in Inspire. That should make up for it. I'm gaining up. These two guys will be pretty easy kills. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Here, I just need to continue picking these guys off. And I think I can do it then. Although maybe, maybe if I expose myself too much, it's not a good thing. That's also possible. It's hard to say. It's hard to stay hidden because you only have golden, you only have Gondor soldiers. Oh, okay, you can do this. That's good. Although considering they're archers, they're not likely to come out on their own, right? So I think my best bet is to go in. Kind of, kind of keeping up with them.
maybe keep him in the shadow. That should be safer. Maybe I can even... It's kind of risky. If I went forward with the captain. He could get picked up by the Mumu killer. Alright. Maybe it's time they get the sword or something. Yeah, okay. It's annoying because Muma kill pretty much gives them a guaranteed kill every turn. So it's kind of hard to keep up. Actually, maybe if I do pull back and I attack him with these archers up here. I think I might do, 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 do that, to be honest. It might give me an edge. I think I'll do that. <laughs> wow, 10. Not bad. Alright. I mean, I can snipe pretty safely from up here. I can do a lot more damage than they can, even if it's slow mm, that's annoying. I think I'm gonna go pick this guy up <laughs> only six with arms mastery. These units are strong. Really are. Oh wait, I don't get a point for the spear soldier. Ah, that's a mistake on my part. Should have been more careful. I only get a point for Faradjuri, so for the bow unit. The spear soldiers are called Easterlings. They've got rally actually. Although it's sheer luck that they've gotten it on the left flank. Got it in the middle, I would definitely lose. I need to take out three more of them. I think I can do it. Gandalf should be able to outface him. If I take out this guy, this guy, and this guy, it should be a safe win. Kick in and inspire. Wait, is it even worth it? Yeah, I think it is. For the left flank, right? Okay, I will need one more turn probably for this guy. This is gonna be kinda close. I'm sure there's a better strategy to do it. Consider staying hidden in the grass for one more turn. I'm pretty sure the Oliphant is gonna attempt to hit this guy, but I think he should be able to tank it. I'm pretty sure. And I can take this advantage to slowly creep these units in and keep them in defensive spots as well. So this way they're not in danger too much. Just a little bit. Is anyone else here? No? Hmm. There's quite a big chunk of land here that's kind of unused. Here... I can take advantage to pick you off. Right. 
Okay, I just need to survive at this point. I think I'm pretty safe. Unless they get rally or something. You know, they won't get rally. That's lucky. Okay. I'm really not sure how this works, but I guess that they do calculate the ter calculate the terrain as making it really hard to attack upwards. But it's not really explained how it works. So now I just need to take take out one of them. So it's a pretty easy task. Alright, this wasn't hard. It was kind of close, but... You could also try to sort of pick up the Olifond. As you can see, he has a pretty predictable pattern of movement. It's really weird, but he just seems to stand in that part. I guess you could just spam archers and stay hidden, and it would work for some odd reason. I'm not sure if it's pre-scripted pre -scripted events, if he moves like that, but I don't know. It's certainly weird. Still can't finish Gandalf completely. Oh. Looks like I even got Lambda somewhere. Okay, this is kind of fun. Next time it's Scourging of the Villages, which is kind of a cool mission. See you soon.